Y'all ready? Let's go, let's go, y'all ready? Let's go, let's go. Hey, my connectors, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. Join the family if you like the food. It's the place to be. Then come and have a little fun with your girl, KC. What's up, my connectors, and welcome back to the channel. So tonight, we are having some king crab and some lobster claws. I have some water to drink. I'm out of lemon, so I have this. Hopefully it works. So if you are new to the channel, if you could please hit your subscribe button and your notification bell so you'll be notified when a new video is uploaded. Don't forget to share, like, and leave me a comment. I truly appreciate it. So hey, y'all. I'm going to start with lobster claws. I'm hungry because I got to cut this open. All right, I'm going to sit it right down. So hello, 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 y'all. I hope you're having a great day. The day went by fast, y'all, for me. I don't know about for y'all, but for me it did. All right, let me break this open. Come on, thing. Mm. Mm, that's good. I'm going to cut this open. It's draining. Mm. That's good. Mm. I'm draining down my own. so much say to y'all. Well, let's eat this king crab first. Let's eat this king, king crab. I need to get some peppers on you. Put lemon juice now. Mmm. It's juicy. I'm so mad. I ain't had no more lemons. Mm. Ooh. Oh, it's delicious. So. I can't wait no longer. So guess who coming to the verses? <laughs> In May. I know y'all probably already know. Cause y'all, y'all, y'all always know before me. But I'm excited. So okay, hold on, I'm good. So SWV. And escape. I know you lied. That's going to be so good. Y'all excited? Huh? That's going to be good. Okay. They come in with some good back-to-back -back ones, y'all. It just gives you something to look forward to. You know? Mmm. Mmm. 
Mm -mm. I'm so happy. Who y'all got? <laughs> I mean, of course, you know we love them both. I have to say that. But who y'all got? That's a hard one. Because I really do like both groups. But y'all know that's my... Oh, oh, they got... They both have songs that I really like. Like, really, really like. I cannot wait. What you wearing to the concert, girl? <laughs> what you wearing to the concert? You gotta go get your outfit. And for those who don't know what I'm talking about, it's verses that comes on Insta, uh, Insta um, Instagram. And Apple TV. So it comes on both. But I can't wait. I'm just gonna get some pebbles with this one because it's been tripping. Don't worry about it. It ain't, he didn't want to be eaten. Why did I put on his white t-shirt? I can get the stains out though. TikTok told me. So yeah, I'm excited y'all. When I saw that, actually I saw it, when did I see it first? And Tasha, From SWV, I guess was um, stopped by a reporter or a blogger or somebody. Mm -hmm. yeah. Honey, she came with the news, honey. She broke the news. I don't think she was announced it yet. I don't think Tasha. I don't think you was supposed to announce that yet. <laughs> Cause they had it covered up on verses. So then I guess after she said it, they just had to go ahead and confirm. But it's gonna be fun. Y'all know I love verses. And both groups can sing, sing. They don't sing, they sing. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. So, yeah, that was exciting news. So, thank y'all for watching the video yesterday. I really, really appreciate it. Mm. I'm sorry my mood was kind of like I don't know I have a habit of taking on you know emotions when I see other people going through stuff and it's like I can't shake it you know some people can you know um, don't, don't I you was about to say something I heard you creeping do, but do I carry like like can I hide my emotions or do you think I carry my emotions? No, you can't hide your emotions. But I told you how to deal with that. How? Oh. Did you share with the people? Share what? My strategy for that. What's your strategy, babe? Here you come with the here you go with the silliness. Go ahead. What's your strategy? Two tears on the bottom. Babe, that doesn't work for everybody. Yes, it does. No, thank you. No, it does not. Like, if you see somebody going through something, it's like I automatically take on that emotion. Like, I, you know, if I feel bad for them or whatever, I can't just, like, come on here and be like, and hide it. So, everything that I'm feeling emotionally, y'all see it. Because I'm not able to, I don't have a good poker face, I guess you could say. Right? Like, if I'm, if, like if I'm mad at you, they're going to know something wrong with me. Yeah. But some people can just come on here and be like. Two tears on a bike. Babe, that's because you don't have any emotions. <laughs> I have plenty of emotions. <laughs> no, you don't. I think that I think the military did that to y'all. Oh. Yep. There you go. There you have it. 
I don't think they, they, they know how to show emotion very well. But anyway, what we were talking about? <laughs> what we were talking about? Um, oh yeah, I was saying I'm sorry. You know, but that was my mood at the time and and my emotion. So I need to take a class on learning how to hide my emotions. But um. Oh, yesterday. Don't worry about it. I ain't, I ain't, I, that's okay. I'm going to keep on to something pop in my eye. I don't even know where to get it. Don't worry about it. But yesterday, y'all shared some testimonies of what happened to you. And um, some of you got second opinions and were able to uh, have your surgeries and, and get diagnosed, find out what was wrong with you. And it's like I wanted to comment on every single video. I mean, every single um, testimony y'all shared, but of course, you know, I ran out of time. But just know that I really, I read each and every one of them. And it was just like so touching and just like so, I was like, wow, oh my God, oh Lord. But I was so happy that a lot of you got second opinions. And you was like, you trust your body. That is the truth. I tell you, baby. Ain't nothing like coming together and sharing your stories. Because what if somebody right now is going through something that one of y'all shared? You know? And, and it was having the same symptoms or was noticing the same thing happening to them. And then they read your story. And they're like, you know what? Let me go get me a second opinion. Or let me go. And like they said, it is hard to get a second opinion. Because your insurance sometimes be like, oh, uh-uh. Prior authorization required. A referral required. Not being paid. You know, all the people go through a lot of stuff. And just like when we was talking about it yesterday... We never know what battle somebody's fighting. So what if that was somebody who was actually going through something in pain? And, and you know what? I'm going to just be honest with y'all, okay? This is a talking video, y'all. I'm just going to come and eat this a little bit and then I'm going to go. But um, I'm going to be very honest with you. When I first got onto social media, not not just like your, your friends and your families and stuff like that. I'm talking about like, you know, everybody. And I would get certain comments or read certain comments and stuff and I'd be like well what I did to you you know well I don't even know you how can you say that you you know just stuff like that and I'd be like well how did you get that from a 15 minute video you know what I'm saying and I'd be like we probably have more in common than you come in and say this little stuff to me or whatever, but I was taking it personal. And Kit was like, why are you taking it personal? They don't even know you. <laughs> and I was just like, yeah, but why they say it then? <laughs> like, I didn't even do nothing. I didn't do anything to them or say anything to them. But then I had to realize a lot of people don't know how to just keep their emotions to themselves sometimes they take it out on everybody else or somebody else and it's not personal and i used to take it personal baby i used to be like oh what she said <laughs> and it's like i've been messed up my all my, my whole day with one person and they probably do that on everybody page or something like that but yeah when i first started it was like oh uh uh oh oh no what is wrong? Yeah, that's why I was like, you don't know what people are going through. No, you shouldn't take your frustrations out on anybody else. But just like they may not know what I was going through or what I'm going through, you know. You see some people that come on and, I mean, you see some people you know in your life or whatever. And they're always good. They're always happy. They're always this. They're always that. And he, one time, I'm going to tell y'all one time I had somebody tell me, why are you always laughing and smiling and always happy? I'm like, because I prayed for the day where I wasn't crying all day. Or I prayed for a day where I got through the week without crying. Or I paid, prayed for a day where I was just like, 
when all of this is over, I am going to truly appreciate my life. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what somebody done been through. You don't know how many nights they cried themselves to sleep and just wish for a day that they could just be happy. Or get through a day without breaking down crying. Or get through a week without breaking down crying. People pray for days like that. And so when you see somebody happy and joyous, you don't know what that past was like. That past could have been dark. Now, now I ain't nobody saying that you 100% solid, but you're not where you were. You understand what I'm saying? It's like so many people walking around with testimonies and you should never question why somebody is so happy. Why they're so, you know, why they laugh and why they smile because on some days they couldn't muster a smile. On some days they couldn't laugh. On some days they laughed when you saw them but cried themselves to sleep at night. Or they were happy on the outside of their house and they were miserable inside their house. So... When somebody is happy and joyous, it's because they probably prayed in that. When somebody is grieving or have lost somebody that's really close to them, getting through those dark days, even when you explain it to somebody, nobody would truly understand what you're going through. Even if they went through the same thing, everybody handles things differently. So that smile, they may have worked on that smile for months, for days, for weeks, for months. Just trying to get to the place where they can learn how to smile again. You know? You just never know. You just never know. So that's why we shouldn't be so cruel and, and evil and, and judgmental towards each other. Because you don't know what somebody is carrying, what bags they're carrying from the past. That they're trying to get through or what they're going through in the present. It ain't easy. Now you need, why are you smiling? Are you always laughing? Is it really genuine? Oh baby, you trust and believe. It's more than genuine. It is more than genuine. I earned that. <laughs> and I'm not going to let you and nobody else take that away from me. I don't ever want to go back to the place where you can't get through the day without shedding tears. Okay? Baby, I'm trying to tell you. So instead of asking why, you know, I shouldn't be, or you shouldn't be smiling and laughing all the time. Baby, ask how I got through it. Ask what I did to get here. Okay? It ain't never easy. No matter how somebody may make it look. Okay? It ain't never easy. Child cheese. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. I'm happy, baby. I am happy. I ain't, I'm not free from issues, problems, circumstances, and stuff like that. But I'm not where I was. Okay? But that's it, y'all. just can't eat a little king crab and lobster claws. You think I should have finished some two lobster claws or going on just in the video? <laughs> Oh, excuse me. It was good though. I ain't finna eat no more chai. Cause Keanu in there cooking something. I think I'm gonna eat that. <laughs> Alright, so thank y'all so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. I bet y'all say, well, when you gonna start back doing your, your hair and your makeup? Girl, listen, I be having stuff going on. Don't do that. So thank y'all so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Much love, peace, and blessings to each and every one of you. And until the next uh, video, continue making connections with endless possibilities. I love y'all. Bye, y'all. Welcome to the after party party. Welcome to the after party. Welcome to the after party. Y'all see my hat? This was when... Did I take the sticker off? Are you supposed to take the sticker off? I don't even know. <laughs> Hold on. Let me see if you're supposed to take the sticker off. It doesn't come off. I don't know. Oh, wait. Oh, now I done messed up my head. Messing with y'all. What if that was supposed to stay on there? I don't think it was though. Don't worry about it. 
But anyways, y'all. Oh, I got this hat with me and Tiny. Uh, me and April went to Tennessee. <laughs> I thought it was so cute. So shout out to everybody in Tennessee. All the connectors. Put down below if you from Tennessee. You have been to, look, there you go with that black oh, road. There you go with that black road, Hansel. You ain't living in no Tennessee. Where do you think Fort Campbell is? Fort Campbell's in Tennessee. It's on the border of Tennessee. And did you go to did you go to uh, oh well you wasn't you didn't go like to the tourist area you was on on uh, on base what do you think we did on the weekend y'all went to gatlinburg no i never went to gatlinburg oh so we went to nashville and we went to um memphis oh we went to memphis together didn't we yeah i forgot all about that Why you be putting on that black robe? Oh, babe, whatever happened to my robe? Babe. Yeah. Whatever happened to my robe? Oh, I never ordered it. Why? What you did with the other one? You took it back? Yeah, I sent it back. And you ain't never give me another one? No. Why? Uh, because they didn't have it. So you could have got me another win, a different win. I just removed that, y'all. He bought me a um soft plush robe, but they sent the wrong size here. So he had to send it back. And I just thought about it. Here it is, March. And I'm like, where's my robe? But it was so nice and plush and soft. He know I like like lounge stuff. Bedroom shoes, lounge stuff, you know. Be, be lazy stuff. <laughs> I literally just thought about it, y'all. Because he was like, oh, they didn't send this wrong. And he said they sent the wrong size twice. He sent it back twice, and they still sent the wrong size. So I guess he sent it back the third time, and he didn't even think to order my robe again. No, you're going to give me my robe, baby. All right, let me go, y'all, because I'm just babbling and stuff. This white shirt is what? How did I put this on? I don't know. All right, y'all. Let me go. I love y'all. Y'all stay safe. And I will see y'all tomorrow. I feel like I just came here to talk. I did eat, though, didn't I? I don't know. All right. Bye, y'all.